Hello everyone, welcome to the third part of the GCSE Maths revision. Now most of these questions are for foundation, some of it will be on higher exam as well, so I'll mention the ones could possibly be on the higher exam. So let's go ahead and get started. So this one is a standard form question, this could possibly be in a higher exam question. Give your answer in standard form. So let's first of all change them into standard form. I find it easier that way. You can multiply the decimals, gets a bit longer, takes a bit more time. But if you're comfortable with standard form, prefer to stay and change them into standard form. So I'll be 6 times 10 to the power of minus 2. So just count how many places, two decimal places, times by 3 times 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 4, over 1 times 10 to the power of minus 2. Let's go ahead and multiply 6 and 3, which is 18, times, let's add the powers, minus 2, add minus 4, which is 10 to the power of minus 6, over 1 times 10 to the power of minus 2. Let's divide 18 by 1, which is 18, times, when you divide, you take with the powers, minus 6, minus minus 2. So if you're not sure, do a bit of calculation on the side. Minus 6 minus minus 2 becomes positive. Minus 6 plus 2 is minus 4. 18 times 10 to the power of minus 4. This is not standard form, so I need to change it into standard form, which will be 1.8 times 10 to the power of add 1 to minus 4, which is minus 3. So 1.8 times 10 to the power of minus 3 and this is worth 3 marks like I said this could be a higher question as well question number 22 at 7 p.m. the temperature was minus 4 degrees celsius by 3 p.m. the temperature had gone up by 10 degrees write down the temperature at 3 p.m. so minus 4 and had gone up by 10 degrees celsius that would be temperature of 6 degree celsius so answer is 6 at 9 p.m. the temperature was minus 2 by midnight the temperature had gone by down by 7 degrees right down the temperature at midnight so it was minus 2 and has gone down by 7 degrees minus 2 minus 7 is minus 9 degree celsius so minus 9 these questions are worth one mark each altogether two marks number 23 a metal box has a weight of 8 times 10 to the power of 3 grams. Find in standard form the weight of 10 of these metal boxes. So one of them is 8 times 10 to the power of 3. So we're going to be times by 10, 10 of them. So 10 does have a power of 1 here. So we're going to do 8 times 10 to the power of 4. And just double check, this is standard form. Is it between 1 and 10? Yes. So we're going to do 8 times... 10 to the power of 4, 1 mark. These are more of a foundation question, 4D. Question B, 3F take away 2F is F, plus 4 plus 6 is plus 10. F plus 10. Emma has 45 rabbits, so total 45. 30 of the rabbits are male, so male, total male are 30. Eight of the female rabbits have short hair, so female short hair is eight, and twelve of the rabbits with long hair are male. So long hair male, twelve. When you do two-way tables, just find whether there is one gap. So thirty take away twelve, that would give us eighteen. Uh, we can find out the female by taking away male from the total. Forty-five take away thirty is fifteen. We can find the long hair female, 15 take away 8, which is 7. Now 12 at 7 is 19, 18 at 8 is 26. Just double check, 9 at 6 is 15, carry the 1, 2 at 1 is 3, at 1 is 4. And this is worth 3 marks, 3 easy marks. One of Emma's rabbits is chosen at random, write down the probability that this rabbit is a female with short hair. So short hair, female, short hair, which is eight. So we have eight of them. Out of the total, number of rabbits is 45. 
This is worth one mark. Altogether, this question has four marks. One of these stickmans represent two children. Eight children like cricket best. Use information to complete the pictogram. So if one of them represents two, eight will be four of them. We're not very good at art. But I wouldn't say you spend too much time making your stickman fancy. Sometimes I prefer to do some smiley face. If you can see them. A bit of hair. Anyway, let's not waste time in your exam. Uh, work out the total number of uh, children in Hades class. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen full ones. Thirteen times two, which is twenty-six. And we have half, which is presents one. Twenty-six add one, which is twenty-seven. So total number of children in Hades class is twenty-seven. Three marks altogether. Each took a driving test one day. 21 of these people were women. So 21 were women. 21. 18 of the 60 people failed their test. So failed 18 of the 60 people. And then we don't show whether they are men or women. Uh, 27 of the men passed their test. So let's put that down. 27 of the men passed their test. The men passed their test 27. Okay. Now we can find out the number of men by taking away the number of women, which is 21. So 60 take away 21. Uh, by the way, do your calculation separately. Don't assume the answers. You could get numbers wrong because these are easy questions. You don't want to get them wrong. So 10 take away 1 is 9. 5 take away 2 is 3. So 39 men. Out of the 39, 27 passed their test. So 39 take away 27, 9 take away 7 is 2, 3 take away 1, 12 fail their test. Okay, now if 12 fail their test and 18 of the 60 people fail their test, let's go back to the information at the top, that means 18 take away 12 men who fail their test, the rest will be women. So fail six women failed their test. So how many women passed their test? So 21 take away six. 11 take away six is five, 15, 15. Just double check that these branches add up to the total. So 15 and six is 21, yes. 27 at 12 is 39. And 21 and 39 adds up to 60. Always good to check your answer. One of the men is chosen at random. Work out the probability that this man failed his test. So 12 failed the test, 12 men, and one of the men is chosen at random, not the total people. So 39 men, so 12 out of 39. Just be careful with the question. One of the men is chosen at random, and the man failed the test. So 12 out of 39 is the answer. This question will worth five marks in total. Three is in set Q, but not in P. Number six is in the both sets P and Q. Complete the Venn diagram. So three is in set Q, but not P. So we can put three in Q, but not in P. And six in both sets. So P and Q, so go in the middle. A student chooses a random number uh, in the completed Venn diagram. Write down the probability that the number is not in set Q. So not in set Q. So this is all set Q. So how many numbers are not in set Q? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have 7 out of how many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Out of 11, including the two numbers that we added at the start. So 7 out of 11 is the final answer. Total for this question is four marks. Bonding size that are given, so 15 and 10. So we find the scale factor first. So scale factor will be the big shape divided by the smaller shape corresponding size, which is 1.5. Now, let's find the corresponding side. The bigger shape is nine. The small shape, we're finding what it is. So be dividing by the scale factor. Nine divided by 1.5, which is six centimeters. So the length of PR is six centimeters.
is the word two marks. Triangle EGH is congruent to triangle KGF. HK is 10, so HK is 10 centimeters. HG is four centimeters, so HG is four centimeters. Now, because they are congruent, we can say the corresponding sides are equal. So, we can find out what GK is, 10 take away 4, which is 6 centimetres. Now, GK is corresponded to EG, which is this one, which is 6 centimetres. Okay, but we need to find out what EF is. FG and HG are corresponding. So if HG is 4, FG is 4 as well, which is 4 centimetres. So EF will be 6 take away 4. So 6 take away 4, which is 2 centimetres. So this is 2 centimetres, this length here. Okay, so the answer is two centimeters in the space below draw pattern number four so as we can see there's oh well they're adding this bit here to the first one and adding this bit here so pattern number four we need to copy down pattern number three first okay this is worth one mark complete the table uh pattern number one three two five three seven so we can see it's going up in twos so seven out two is nine out two is eleven one mark how many sticks make pattern number 15 so it goes up in twos so you can count up to the pattern number 15 or you can find the relationship between the patterns what's going on so one times two add one is three two times two is four add one is five three times three is nine sorry three times two is six add one is seven so 15 will be 15 times two add one which is 31 and this is worth one mark maria wants to work out how many sticks make pattern number 50 write down the method she can use so she can multiply the 50 by 2 and then add 1 which is 50 times 2 is 100 add 1 which is 101 so 2n plus 1 is the rule as well if you find the rule and this is worth one mark all together four marks that was the end of this video and next video we're going to go through some more higher and some more foundation questions so please do not forget to subscribe and i will see you in the next video and good luck with your exam on friday